Gary Dotson has now been tried twice, and in both instances, the evidence against him, however creditable, has been substantially the same. The case against him has rested almost entirely on the sworn allegation of Kathleen Webb, who at that time was 17 years old. Kathleen Webb, who swore that Gary Dotson forced her into a car, drove her to a secluded spot, raped her, and threatened her life if she went to the police. Her testimony was the hallmark of the case against Gary Dotson. It was the final convincing element in the minds of 12 jurors and a judge who jointly sent Gary Dotson to prison for what could have been 50 years. The case of the state versus Gary Dotson rested on the testimony of Kathleen Webb. He was sifted and tried on that basis and found guilty as charged. But now the same legal system, which to some extent was willing to take Kathleen Webb's word for it in 1979, is unwilling to take her word for it in 1985. Is that two standards of justice? Well, of course it is. But does it have any new and universal meaning in the continuing effort to come up with fair and adequate rape laws which protect and respect the rights of victim and defendant? Of course it doesn't. The case of Gary Dotson and Kathleen Webb is a remote, isolated case whose very remoteness and uniqueness may make it newsworthy but not noteworthy. It may give some heart to those cynical few who seem to disbelieve most rape allegations, those who see a rape charge as the easiest of crimes to commit. But simple logic suggests that the overwhelming majority of those in jail on rape charges deserve to be there, whatever we happen to think of Gary Dotson. Now, the criminal justice system can be blamed for failing Gary Dotson in 1979 or can be blamed for failing him now. That point is still up for some debate. But the major focus should not settle on Gary Dotson, or for that matter, on Kathleen Webb, but on the thousands of women in this country who are daily the victims of rape, who don't cry rape one year and change their story a few years later, who in fact can't even forget their story in an entire lifetime. For the comment, I'm Ron Salem.